Hello boys, this is your boy Lazy Sultan back back again with another video. As you guys can see, I'm really hyped um, about our jump. Uh, as you can see, my power level right now it's I have reached 300 finally. Uh, it, uh, like this time around, I did not go for like 400 or 350. But as far as I remember, in my back uh, like past jumping. I did manage to get 350 uh, I hope I did uh, yeah so uh, compared to that uh, 314 I can still go 300 um, actually more than uh, 350 because I have legendaries as you can see I have uh, I got three legendaries now all of those and on top of that I have a lot of XP now I'm running forts right now so I have some XP I already saved up those I'll tell you why I saved up did not open the rest of it so uh, first of all I need I need to um, brief you guys on this that this time this jump is completely different uh, Lily changed a lot of stuff um, I've been away for six months uh, like now I'm back and I myself learning a lot of stuff so this video might get a little bit longer because I'll explain um, what they change and what you can expect uh, from the jump or you should jump or not and also I would uh, give tips what you need to do uh, before the jump and also um, they will be jumping in like um, less than one day eight hours or nine hours maybe uh, as you can see that uh, kingdom what is it let me show you guys so kingdom 2981 already open it opened about um, 22 hours ago almost so if we back calculate what I can see is one day 23 hours uh, for 80 and this one was three days one hour so that's two days so in one day one hour interval the new kingdoms is opening and already one day is gone so in between like one to six hours the new kingdom might open and i'll get back to this uh, we are jumping in 2982 so if you guys want to join us there you can jump solo or uh, if you are a spender even free to play if you are active knows uh, how to play uh, then you can uh, join us uh, i have talked to the leaders and they will welcome you guys in so our uh, targeted kingdom is already um, booked so we are going 82 and now um, as you can see my immigration uh, I have still two days 18 hours so roughly uh, if we if I'm jumping in another six hours or eight hours then that will be like two days uh, more than two days left uh, it's good for a jumping uh, that I'll uh, I use almost seven to eight days that's good um, and every single time I see this, I get upset because, uh, yeah, I did not go those five, 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 bro. All of this is five. Okay, never mind. Sad. So, yeah, so our targeted kingdom is 2982. So, right now, um, in this video, I'll show you what to do before jump. And I'll show you my account uh, review, uh, what I've been doing, and how my power level is uh, 300, over 300 now. So first, uh, I'll show you my power and distribution, what I did and what I uh, saved, all of those. And then I'll come to uh, the jump preparation and what you need to do. So as you can see, you guys already saw that my power is uh, 314. Uh, I will be 350, I guess, before jump. So uh, this is my commander power, 170. Uh, building and technology power will be same, obviously, in some City Hall 7 and troops power is 118 so my troop, troops power did got increased a lot um, the commander power is not there where i wish to uh, like uh, i i had hoped that uh, it would be like 250 but uh, yeah so i had no xp tones and this time around i did not barf chain like before uh, in my previous jump i chained for like well, 2000 3000 barf but this time I only chained for I guess 800 or uh, 100 bucks, uh, 800 or 1000 bucks like that. So 
this time I changed a lot less. I did forts. Uh, I, I'm still doing forts rally. So that way you can get uh, books of covenant that will you will need those from early stage. You should uh, save those uh, to be able to upgrade your castle level. Uh, if you upgrade your castle level, not for only city hall purpose or rally purpose. If you have bigger um, uh, castle level, then in expedition you will do better on those city defenses or city rallies. You will do better. Uh, that's one tip. And also um, I've shown you uh, how many tips. Let's see. It's 30,000. Uh, I, I tried to balance it out. Uh, I don't know why my infantry is a uh, little bit um, more than others. Oh, never mind, but it's almost the same. So, right now, these are my troops, and I haven't uh, like speed ups anything. I did not use any single speed up on any of the troops, it's normally tra training it. And also, these are my commander. Let's show you guys. It's ranking your power. So my Sun Tzu is already 5111 and it's 32 right now. And Xiondiok, obviously, I will make her 37 at least. Right now, it's I don't have any stars. And another tips, you should not use those bundle on gatherers. Never do that. These bundles are so precious. You will need those for like I'll be needing those for my Richard and YSG. Uh, I am definitely gonna use uh, those on. Uh, I, I'll try to save as much as I can. But uh, yeah, these two bundle I got lucky that I got two of them. Uh, this bundle was good, and that's him. Uh, yeah, I have marksman. As you can see, since I did not power change a lot, my uh, commander's uh, like level is so low. Um, yeah, so I, I so we had a lower event, so we chain barb. Did not do any uh, like we did not summon any Luhar or Luhar rallies because uh, that's a waste of AP. You can do whenever uh, like wh whenever you are in the final KD, you can do that afterward. Um, like that's why I don't have many sculpture. Um, so 13. I don't have many sculpture. That's why um, after uh, landing on final KD, I will make her make him to like at least. Uh, this is I want this skill to be max 70% XP and then I'll go for those two uh, It will unlock automatically once I uh, like level him up and then I'll use him as primary and use Sun Tzu secondary So that my commander level goes uh, as high as possible as fast as possible and these are my commander uh, gatherer I'll be making them like 37 at least uh, at least four of them 37 uh, Mehmet Two. So, I did not uh, spend any XP on them. They are just chain, and these are all one, 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 one. So, these are my commanders, and let's see what else. Um, the tech is everything is same. So I will show you my inventory what I have. So I have these amount of resources right now. Um, these are the resources I have right now. So. And I am saving gem. These gems are from um, uh, these gems are from changing barbs and doing some daily uh, quest. I guess I got to this one some quest. I don't remember. But these are the resource token. Uh, it's way too less than expected. Since I did not change, I don't have much. Uh, I haven't calculated how many I have, but yeah. I might uh, th calculate later and during the editing I might uh, put a uh, uh, put a text how much resource I have um, these are the speed up as you can see these all other speed ups that I got I got lucky with the three hours 15 of them and 15 hours two of them these are huge and let's see boost item these are my boost item Let's see. Equipment, as you can see. And uh, yeah. So back to why I haven't uh, uh, like opened all of those. Uh, so as you can see, the, those are. I did not open all of those. So the reason is that. Uh, the reason I am saving all of those because right now. Gaining power 
doesn't mean everything because let me show you as you can see uh, is it still there or not uh, yeah it's not there anymore but um, what Lilith did is that uh, one uh, there was an event uh, for Lotus skin Cav, Cav Lotus skin so it will give you if you reach 1.5 million you will get a lot of um, a lot of item a lot of uh, keys um, speed ups uh, resources and also unique that um, one time event uh, got the lotus skin i achieved it in my previous jump and i thought that i'm gonna achieve it again i tried to grind and everything but first in first two days i learned that they changed so basically um i changed but uh, basically what the since when i like try to find out what uh, like what they did change and found out that um, yeah you cannot get that lotus skin anymore basically you have to expand so that skin is out of the question since i'm not a like, expander i'm a free to play as you can see the mina marker so uh i'm sad a little bit but it's not that uh, big of a deal since i'm not a um uh, cavalry player i'm a infantry player so i'll be looking for other um, skin there will be a lot of skin that i'll be using for later and um the reason i haven't uh, like opened those what is it i haven't opened those is that when you are uh, like opening these uh, these get a lot of re resource item tokens all of that so right now opening those it doesn't matter since there is the event uh is it here still let me if i can show you guys i don't see i'm not seeing it um no it's not here so there is the event where um if you uh, like in the earliest state there is the event where if you level up not by commander or equipment if you level up your city um to training troops and um resource uh, like resources everything will grant you an a power and that will place you from one to hundred uh, there there is a lot of um a gold head like 20 gold head uh, I, I believe so right now gaining power means nothing because once you jump to that new kingdom that event will reset like whenever you get anything in this re uh, event won't matter much because after you jump that event will get reset so you like you have you have 300k power or 600k power but in the event it will show uh, show for zero zero like your power is basically zero unless you upgrade anything like let's just say I have uh, 300 power, then I jump, and then um, like my res uh, the, my event score will be resetting. Uh, once I upgrade my city hall, like it will give me 1,800. These base won't count after the upgrade. Whatever I do gets added to that event list, and that will get the marker. Like um, uh, if I can uh, say it simply. That whenever you upgrade anything in the new kingdom that will count as a power so if you have uh, 600k power beforehand that won't count if you gr grind 1k 100k or 1 million that will be counted as only 1 million not the whole wholesome okay so that's the reason I'm saving those I'm gonna be opening every single one of them um, I'll open all of those and then push as fast as I can but um, my plan is to research. I go for economic research first. I'll try to, um, yeah, I'll try to get this as much as possible. Uh, we'll see. My target is that before I'm not gonna be using much speed up unless I need to for any events that will come. So and basically another thing, do not claim this. So if you guys don't know, the another tips is do not claim this. Um, as you can see, uh, like I leave it mine unopened because um, yeah, I can still get those, uh, but I'm not uh, like speeding up anything. As you can see, it's nothing like literally. So after you jump, this event will reset. If you collect this, it will be locked, so you won't be able to get anything. So uh, I have confirmed this. So until you like, wait, what happened? is my recording still on yep so un unless you're claiming this this won't 
um, uh, get unlocked for you in the new kingdom you can get that again so remember on those that's a tiny bit of information there and what else yeah i think i have uh, shared everything that i have to say and now for the tips during jump uh, this is important for the new guys uh, if you are uh, watching my video in my previous jump that was kind of different but this time it's completely different and also uh, this uh, portion is also for my alliance member uh, so that they can see and uh, uh, get prepared before jump so once the new KD opens uh, when the 2, 2, H, uh, 2 9, 82 opens uh, like this kingdom like opens uh, so what you have to do is leave your alliance really leave your alliance and then uh, if you have any troops like my troops is right now outside the city your troops needs to be inside your city and you should not attack anyone if you attack someone there will be a um, eight minute i guess the uh, three minutes there is a um uh, what's uh, like battle mode or something like i forgot there there will be a delay uh, like three minutes i think you you don't want to do that so get your troops inside your city do not upgrade your city hall i mean in case you can upgrade to your city hall but uh if your upgrade is done before jump then your migration will be gone so be careful on that so uh, after that you go to your inventory beginner immigration then after you like leave your alliances all that you will be able to use this or you can go directly after leaving alliance and all of your troops are inside the city go to the globe zoom out and go to preparation city the preparation season and then look for 2981 that will be opening soon uh, in 292981 click on that you will see uh, the providence you are in so in our case our jump um, uh, jump player a uh, jump group uh, they are designated in all of the sector uh, let me show you the map that actual map we will be jumping in it's kind of look like this i guess yeah yeah it's, uh, our map looks like this so it's a uh, b seat carry so uh, if you are in like if your alliance in second region then you should uh, like select select that and immigrate the, uh, if you look in the in here it says you possess you possess a beginner immigration that should be tick mark uh, obviously since i have i am city hall 7 so it should be ticked up now this is most important part entry of government with beginner's teleport not yet capped that means I cannot go inside this uh, kingdom basically so that means this kingdom has already jumper in them like might be 200 might be 300 might be 500 or might be it might be a time base i don't know uh, like it's same for this one as you can see it's only 20, 20 uh, 22 hours but uh, when i checked in fourth hour uh, the kingdom age was fourth hour and it was locked already so it doesn't matter like you cannot wait as soon as you see you uh, the kingdom is arrived and both of the green mark you should immigrate immediately if you see the entry of government with beginner teleport capped this red mark that means you won't be able to migrate in we have another solution for that but yeah for the most part you should not wait you should jump as fast as possible or you will le left behind so uh that's the important part for this so they they made some changes over there now it's like randomly this kingdom gets locked and then you will get left behind uh, you will need to then stay in that kingdom uh, make your city hall to 16 and then buy a password and then you will be able to jump within the 10 kingdom uh, i have shared another video how the sleepers work it's kind of like that so you can basically jump one continent to another uh, using migration within the 10 uh, 10 kingdom like I am in 75 so uh, I can jump to 75 I can jump to 2985 uh, that's yeah I can jump up to 2985 10 kingdom okay so this is how the uh, new procedure system works the new jump system works right now so remember uh, that you need to uh, be active during those days since our ours is also like close 
uh, we don't know when the kingdom will open so it's basically in one day six hour or two hours interval so we'll be looking forward to uh, for that and we'll have to be um, be very careful because uh, we have a large group as you can see in our alliance we i'm in the jl2 we have jl1 and our member is almost capped so we need to be careful on that and uh, then we will uh, after uh, since we have like over 150 player so kingdom might get blocked or might uh, we might uh, be able to um, like migrate 200 people in i don't know but why should we take risk and i would suggest don't if you are in a big project, a big jumper group, don't migrate or jump your farm account first. You should talk to your leader. Your leader will tell you when you can uh, bring your farm in. Uh, first of all, your main account, all of your main account, the whole jumper group's main account needs to jump to the main KD, final KD. And then if the lock is still not there, then you can bring your farm account in. So in that way not uh, like not many solo jumper can get into into in the uh, kingdom and not uh, not many other groups big groups uh, cannot infiltrate your kingdom by jumping so in this way you are safe both sides so and also since your farm account is not that important like your main account so even if it gets left behind it won't hamper you much but if your main account can like get through then it you will face like you have to stay in this kingdom for a period of time until you reach city hall 16 and then jump so there is a risk to it and another thing is that after your main account is um, like already uh, in the main kd then you should you guys should wait to not bring your farm account to let your um, uh, leaders tell you that yeah everything is uh, every, everything is fine uh, all of our main account is already in our final query now you can bring your farm account in then you should uh, be proceeding like uh, jump to uh, jump your uh, farm account there uh, because if you are thinking about yourself uh, if you jump with your own farm account then because of you someone else from your alliance might not be able to um, get into the kingdom the kingdom might get locked uh, locked so be careful on that so these are the uh, some simple tips for my alliance and also for you guys and if you have any more questions uh, if i miss anything regarding jump or anything uh, comment below i'll try to uh, answer as fast as possible so that uh, it will clear your mind and also to our alliance member we have our own discord uh, so you guys should um, uh, be joining our discord soon and also, um, if you have any question, there is a section of questions in Discord server. There is a text channel for that. Uh, ask away. Uh, we have leaders, uh, we have officers there, always active. They will answer you right away. So this is it for this video. We'll see you guys in the final kingdom.